Hey guys, I'm Devin DeLima, and today's video is going to be a little bit different than what I have been doing. I've been doing a lot of comedy lately. There's just something really important to me that I want to talk to you guys about. I think I am just really sick of filtering myself. As you can probably tell by the title of this video, is talking about almost gay shaming. I just don't know how else to put it. And uh, I want to start this conversation by saying I'm guilty of this. To me, gay shaming is saying that because someone else is gay or someone dresses in a way that is stereotypically feminine or um, doesn't necessarily go with their gender, I guess, by society standards, that they are ridiculed and thought of as less of a human being for some reason. Growing up, um, I've always known that I was gay. I mean, since I was a little boy and um, I just knew I'm gay and uh, it was it was hard to deal with. I knew I wasn't gonna be what I wanted to be and that was so frustrating. I wanna say to every single other gay male out there that I ever called a queer in a derogatory way, or I called a faggot, or I just made some mean assumptions about you. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that I was that person. And I have forgiven myself for it, and I think that it's important to forgive each other for those certain actions and then move forward and grow from those actions and not dwell on them. I remember when I was in high school and I got offended after I'd come out because someone else said the word faggot about someone else. It was more of a way of them expressing like, oh yeah, that person is a horrible person, I don't like them, so they chose to call them a faggot. And I remember saying to them, hey, that's not okay, that's not cool. Um, I'm kind of offended by that. And all I got back was, Devin, don't be that guy. Could you not be that person right now? And I shut up. And I shouldn't have. I should have said, you know what, no. I'm gonna be that person because I'm strong enough to be that person. And there are other people out there in the world who aren't strong enough to be that person in that moment that need people like me to say, hey, that's not okay. It's, uh, it's hurtful what you say. And as someone who grew up living mostly inside his own head, you can really damage someone by saying something like that. I'm also just sick of um, the jokes. I mean, and I'm not saying that I've never been guilty of these. I still regularly will have to catch myself saying something and I'll be like, that's not cool. Because if someone had said that to me if during my journey of figuring out who I was, or even now, I'd be infuriated. And how dare any person, including myself, say something to someone else that could potentially hurt them. There's been a lot of jokes in my life. And I always act like they don't bother me. I've always done that. Um, by saying things, if someone says like, oh yeah, I heard you came out of the womb singing show tunes. And I'm always like, yeah, haha, ha, very funny, whatever, let's keep going, whatever, let's keep going conversation. That hurts. You are telling me that I am nothing more than a sexuality when that could be the furthest from the truth. And when I get told by different people around me that I do normal things like change a fan or I change lights or I I do something stereotypically like butch male that they're like, oh, where'd you learn that from? Did you learn it from, you know, HGTV? Did you guys watch too much HGTV? No! I learned it because I needed to learn it for myself because it's something I wanted to do. Like, is your mind so tiny and so unable to open that you cannot perceive the fact that perhaps 
I need to do something in my living space. So I researched it and just like anyone else, I can be good at things like that. And I'm so <sighs> over it. I'm done. And the next time someone says something like that to me, I'm going to say, hey, you know what? You're being an asshole. Did that feel good to hear? Because that's what it felt like when you started to just spout off your mouth to me. I also hate the fact that people think that being gay, for some reason in our society, means that you are a weak man. If nothing else, gay males, and I can't speak for anyone else in the gay community, I can only speak for myself and my part, but I wouldn't be surprised if we went across the board and all LGBTQIQ that we are the strongest people. Emotionally, can you imagine being in like third grade and realizing, oh my God, I'm not gonna be the person that I thought I was gonna be for the rest of my life. Fourth grade, fifth grade, sixth grade, doesn't matter when you figured it out. When you realize that you aren't going to make your parents vision of you potentially come true, whether they know it or not, you grow and you become strong. So how dare anyone in society say that just because of your sexuality, you're a weaker person or that you aren't manly enough or you aren't girly enough or you aren't this enough or maybe you're too manly to be that way or you're too good looking or you're, you're, you're just a certain way so of course you're that way. No, I'm that way because I was born that way. For you to make these assumptions and try to fit me into a box that you've seen on television perpetuated by traditional media, you're the weak one. You're the one who can't open up your mind past what's already been shown. That's cowardice. And if anything else, it just makes me feel better about myself because thank God I'll never be you. Now, I'm not saying in any of this that people are going to be that way forever and they can never change and I'm calling you out because you suck and you're out of my life. No, people can change. I mean, look at me. I'm someone who used to buy into these perceptions and I'm someone who is so thankful that I got out of that mindset and I distance myself away from people who are like, like they think it's funny to like call someone gay because they got in a motorcycle accident. Like, first of all, I don't even see how those two things are related, but whatever, man, that's up to you. But I'm just so sick of seeing things like that. I'm over it. And I'm not saying that people can't change and be more accepting and open up their mind and say, hey, you know, I'm sorry for saying those things that I said five years ago, 10 years ago, whenever it was. But have the courage to say I'm sorry, especially if you didn't know that that's what you were doing. Have the courage to say I'm sorry. I grew up in suburban Georgia and I was the only one in a class of probably about five to six hundred kids in my senior class to come out of the closet. And then from there, I was nominated as uh, most unique for a superlative and I lost. And I spent so long being angry about that, thinking, you know what? I was the only one who had the courage to come out and these people choose someone else to be most unique. And in fact, I should say thank you because that taught me in that moment as a 17 year old, your sexuality doesn't make you unique. It's everything else. It's the way you make people laugh. It's the way that you are you. Yeah, sometimes sexuality can be a part of that if that's what you want it to be, but it wasn't for me. And I thought that just on that rule alone, people should pick me and vote for me. But I'm so thankful that people didn't because they taught me that I am so much more than a sexuality. I'm gonna close this vlog. I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you think that you ever said anything to potentially hurt someone who's LGBTQIQ or... Anyway, just have the courage to say I'm sorry. Just do what you have to do to live for yourself. And if that means coming to terms with things for yourself, 
do it because I promise you, you'll be so much happier in the end. To be honest, I don't, I don't know if I'm even going to upload this video. But I think because I'm considering not uploading it, that's even more of a point for me too. Maybe there's someone out there that needed to hear this. Because I know when I was younger, I probably needed to hear this. So, all that being said, I'll see you guys next week for another brand new video. Later.